this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is what I call the hydrogen shell. I put this together for those of you who have been looking for something they can test their plates in. It's only six and a half inches high or eight inches to the very top of the hydrogen port on your right there, upper right. As you can see, it's constructed just like the 3LR1000, but it's very small. It's perfect for testing your plates. If you've got plates at home and you're still putting them in a glass of water, this would be a great thing to put it in. It was just a thought. If you want to see more information about it, you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com. There you see the size. There's three D cell bat four D cell batteries stacked one on top of the other. This unit works with the two seals or the gasket top and bottom. The whole unit comes apart. It's very easy to work with. I figure if I can get enough of you working on this system, we will have it licked. I don't sell any, or I don't have any cells that go in this. That's not why I made it. This unit is strictly for those who want to make their own cells and put it in something that's pre-made. It works really nice. It's machined on both ends, so it makes a real good seal. Right now I'm working on the pull system alongside. I've started over a hundred times to get everything right. As you can see in the last video I showed the cell that I've been working with or I started to work with now. There's a good view of the size proportion to the CD there. The system I'm working with right now for the pulse system is, is a pulse modulation system, which I'm hoping to be able to show in the next few days. Now that I have my cell ready to do some tests, we'll see how that works out. Again, this is called a hydrogen shell. If you're interested, you can go to my site. I've got a lot of lot of response to the pulse system I'm working on. And a lot of people are working on it now. A lot of people have asked me what I think the Meyer system is and whether or not he left some parts out. As in my last response, now that we know or some of us know that it works, it's much, much easier to go backwards and find out why. And that's what I'm doing now. Once I get a good enough system going, then I will publish it. What I've done here for you, if you freeze frame it, is show you how you can hook up a transistor to turn on relays or any other device that you have. And you would use that, for instance, for your water sensor. This is a PNP, Paul Nancy Paul. It's a power transistor. By using this simple schematic, you can turn 
you can get a small voltage or a very, very small voltage on the left side to turn on a high voltage and allow more power on the right side. So the left battery, which is facing down, the plus on that battery is facing down. Once you complete that circuit to that battery, it turns on the battery on the right side, which turns on the relay in this case. So you can have a one and a half volt battery on the left side turning on a 12 volt battery on the right side. Again, this is a power transistor, as you can see. But this, any PNP transistor will work in the same configuration. The difference is this is a power transistor which will allow more power to go through it to turn on bigger devices. That's the plus side of the battery facing down. And that's the plus side of the battery facing up. You can see where the two negative parts of the batteries are hooked together. Some would call that a ground. They hook right there. So again, the battery on the left turns on the battery on the right. Again, this is a PNP, PNP. There's where your switch would be to turn it on and off, or water sensor, or whatever you want to call it. And that's the hydrogen.